Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Just did the third microwave on my <laughs> cup of coffee. We just walked the little doggy. So I'm in Bend, Oregon with my friend again who lives here, staying at her place, which is so beautiful. What little mountain cabin dreams are made of. There's like a little street fair thing going on today. So we're gonna go to that. I got this makeup meal that I'm gonna try. Picked it up off Amazon. I've tried a few of these over the years. The thing I liked about this one is that it's pretty small. It still lights up and has all the adjustments, but look, it has this which is a game changer, especially if you have neck issues and you don't want to stare down, it stands up like this, so you don't have to like look down like that. You can change the temperature so it's a cooler one, and then you can also adjust the brightness. Hoping this is the right shade for today, I have Tanner on. It's the Shiseido, the new Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation in the shade 240 Quartz. So if you're new here, my name's Taylor. I work remote and I've been traveling for the last two years and I have been in Bend. I was in Bend over the summer and I, Friggin' loved it. That glow though, and it looks like skin. So I wanted to come back here and just kind of scope it out again as a potential. I am getting to the point where I'm like deciding between a few places. I'm still going some new places, but I am kind of, I've kind of narrowed it down to where I might want to move to. So I'm back here to give it another look and look more at it this time as like a place to live because last time I literally came here thinking, this is what happens with all of the places that I have no expectations for as far as moving to where I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna move there. I end up going there and those are the places that I end up like loving the most. There's like this organ feeling to me that I can't explain that as soon as I land here, I'm like, oh, just, I love it so much. And I don't know if that's just like the nostalgia of going to college here or what, but so what the plan is, is we're here for a few days and then we're gonna do a little road trip and have like a cabin kind of getaway thing in Crater Lake area, which I have actually never been to. I've been a lot of places in Oregon, but Crater Lake, is one that I never made it to when I went to school here. So I am beyond excited because it's been on my bucket list for forever. We'll see how this wears because that is looking beautiful. It's like thin, but has coverage. House Labs Concealer, I've been really liking this, but you have to, or I like to leave it on for a solid like 30 seconds and that's how I get good coverage out of it. It's actually supposed to rain and snow now when we're going. So, I mean, it's fine, but we might have like a cozy work day in the cabin kind of thing one of the days. I still have a lot of editing I have to do. And then I come back to Ben for another like week or so and staying in a different part, just like in an Airbnb to see how it is. I purposely planned it right now because fall color is an Oregon man, unreal. And I'm hoping Crater Lake is gonna be like insane, like around that area. And there is nothing I love more than some fall trees. I just left San Diego, got in to Bend last night. I was in San Diego for two months. So I had a good reset there. I got a ton filmed. Got a lot of like sit down videos pre-filmed, but now I would say like before, you know, the last couple years, I've kind of been doing a mix of like traveling and seeing where I would want to live. And now I'm kind of more in the mindset of like, probably only going to be going places in the next few months that I could see myself living or that I'm curious about. I'm now starting to feel that like, okay, I'm ready to choose somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. I've also been loving this cream bronzer in the shade Buttercream. It's beautiful. Gives a really, really pretty like tannish color. I'm gonna use this jelly dough blusher. I've used this once or twice so far, it's very pretty. I still have to finish my brows. I can't even explain to you how amazing it feels to be done with the hell that was the last week and a half of just packing, putting everything into storage, like boxing stuff. If you missed that, it's the last San Diego vlog and basically my parents are doing a whole big remodel. So usually I just like put things into suitcases, repack and kind of leave. And this time I had to like, I really went through everything, donated a ton of stuff, decluttered, reorganized stuff, put it all into vacuum bags, put that into a bunch of different bags that my mom helped me like stack into storage. Like a lot of last minute work things came up that same week. I was stressed, man. If you couldn't tell in that last vlog, <laughs> I think we all could tell. Now it's like, okay, I can breathe. Wherever I do end up moving, I'm gonna have to, I mean, we'll talk about that when I get there, but. I have stuff in Seattle now and in San Diego, so 
There's gonna be a multi moving truck situation or like shipping them, but big shout out to my parents for helping with everything and just letting me store all my shit there. It's actually pretty hot out. Like it's gonna be 78 today. But the thing with Bend is it's high desert. So during the day it can be warm, but the mornings and nights are like really cool, which is nice. And it does snow here, but right now it's like the beginning of fall. So it's a little toastier than usual. Toastier than usual everywhere. got back from the market a little bit ago. It was so cute, whoa. By the way, I trimmed my hair in San Diego myself. I just did a little even cut at the bottom because it was starting to look a little straggly. I like it straight across. That's what gives you, I feel like the most volume down here. It was like perfect weather, beautiful, like 77 degrees, sunny, people out, live music, good food. Got this bomb corn dog, huckleberry smoothie. Like it was just very Oregon and I loved every minute of it. But I actually had my Thrive Market box shipped here because I figured that would be perfect to have snacks to go to our little cabin crater lake kind of weekend thing. Here she be. I wanted to thank Thrive Market for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. They're an online membership based market. So I literally just ordered all the stuff on the app. I have my favorites at this point, but also I wanted to get some fun like pumpkin-y fall things that I'm gonna show you. And also I got my friend a couple things just for, you know, hosting and whatnot. And before I get into the food haul, I did wanna let you know you can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift up to $60 at the link down below. But the main thing is I wanted to get us some like healthy-ish snacks and food to bring to the cabin. Just ships directly to your door, orders over $49 ship free. I've been a paying customer of Thrive Market. Like I buy the membership myself for years now. I truly think it's worth it. They have some of the best deals, especially if you shop the deals section. It's like way cheaper than the grocery store. You can get really good items on sale, everyday items, household stuff. They have like wine on there now, beauty products, cleaning supplies. You can sort by lifestyle. So if you have a specific diet, gluten-free, keto, whatever it is, you can just easily sort and shop that way. I'm a big snacker and I get some of my favorite snacks on Thrive Market at such good prices. Uh, we we're having some last night. I did break into the box a little early. We we're watching Golden Bachelor and I whipped out some of these. These truffles, I'm not even a chocolate person. I like these. Kristen really liked these. My mom loves these. Just cute hostess gift, like with a little candle or something. These are my go-to candies. We had these last night too. <laughs> sour cream, they're flavored cranberries. I love the sour watermelon ones. They're addicting. And then I really like the Joyride Zero Sugar Sour Fruit Gummies. I got some pumpkin-y items because fall. I had this one this morning for my coffee. It's the pumpkin spice medium roast. I am picky with like pumpkin coffee because I, I don't know, a lot of it just tastes too artificial to me. This one had a nice spicy kind of flavor to it without it being overpowering pumpkin and tasting like super fake. And then I got my friend this, like I figured I would give it to her. It's the Rosy brand pumpkin and cinnamon spice limited edition cleaner. You know you're in your 30s when you're getting each other cleaner as a present. But pumpkin spice is fun, I don't know. And then this I'm so curious to try. It's the limited edition Khalifa Farms pumpkin spice oat creamer. I thought this would be fun to make a little drink with, maybe some iced coffee. Vegan marshmallows and they're pumpkin flavored. How cute is this packaging? I always get these on Thrive. They're one of my favorite pretzels, the Fit Joy Dijon honey mustard. Got some more Thrive matcha. We've got sweet potato chips for the cabin. They changed the packaging on that. Rice and quinoa, one of my go-tos, just microwavable, easy. Bonza always goes on sale, one of my favorite healthy pastas. This is like a protein pasta just made from chickpeas. The cinnamon sticks, I got such a good price on. If you have ever tried to buy cinnamon sticks, they're like ridiculously expensive. I remember paying like $12 in Seattle for cinnamon sticks one time. I saved so much money on this order. I'm gonna put how much I saved on the screen here, but the Thrive membership way outpays for itself. The membership, if you do it monthly is $12 a month, but if you have it billed annually, it's $5 a month. They also donate a membership. So every membership you buy, they donate a membership to a low income family or a family in need. I tell people in real life, like I'm like selling it in real life. Okay, that's how much I love Thrive Market. So if you wanna try them out, you can go to the link down below in the description box. It's thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin. And that'll give you 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60. I was gonna bring my box outside and show you guys because it's so nice out right now, but the cats were 
Cats were real into the Thrive Market box, going a little wild out there. Oh my god. Beautiful. I just finished this book, Dear Dolly, and it's basically an advice columnist. People are writing in. Every few pages is like a different story of, where's this hair coming from? Every few pages is a different person writing in with like their issues and it's broken down by like family, love, sex. Her advice is actually so interesting and just like the way she explains certain things and certain like theories on different situations are like it's really good perspective some of them i've literally never thought of before and blew my mind like page what was it like page 100 i think it was here we go page 87 the husband is mid 40s like rapidly becoming like a grumpy old man basically that blew my mind i think this is a fun read and like interesting and useful but also easy like you could read this in a couple days also the cover is so cute recommend this book We just went to lunch, got some gas, got some ice, and now we're on the way. We're driving to Chiloquin, which is like a few hours away. Is that, am I saying it right? Yes, Chiloquin. Chiloquin. The cabin is like a half hour away from Crater Lake. Super clear weather, as you can see. Beautiful. The lake is looking gorgeous today. But the past we got's good for seven days, so we're hoping tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to snow, but at least maybe it'll be hopefully clear ish. Tomorrow's supposed to be worse, <laughs> but hopefully it's better. <laughs> Trying to look at the bright side. Oh, yeah, look. This is, this is good. Welcome to Crater Bay. We hope you love it. So this stuff is actually really good. I just taste it on its own. It tastes almost, it's not like creamer. It's more like flavored oat milk. We're just heating it up and putting some marshmallows on top. You like it warm, warm, right? A little more.
round two. <laughs> round two. It is sunny and beautiful and clear. If we don't drink it, knock on wood. You better knock on wood right now. <laughs> We're having car snacks before we go do a little hike slash the lake. It's like more beautiful than we could have tried to plan for. There's like a few inches of snow on the ground, but the roads are clear. Sun's out, gun's out. Life lesson, if you weather the storm, good things will come your way. It's beautiful. <laughs> Later. Put that on the pillow. Words to live by. <laughs> I didn't get it all up to pop in the we photo. We <laughs> have to recite our fishing prayer. <laughs> It's a new nightly ritual. Are you going to wear your, your big, big I'm jacket? probably going to wear my real jacket. I'm not cold now, but I'm more worried about it being windy. windy over on that edge. Now I'm like so happy that we stayed for this amount of time because this is the best. So I'm back in bed. I've had such a nice and like much needed first week back here. I just literally walked inside and sat down to film this clip for you, which is why I'm wearing North Face inside. As Kristen got me onto this for breakfast and I'm totally hooked. I never put apples in yogurt and it is so good. It gives it like such a good crunch. She uses Gala. I like, I like Gala or Granny Smith, but I got this granola from Trader Joe's. It's really good. It doesn't taste too peanut buttery actually, like you barely taste it, but it has a nice crunch. And the yogurt is the Trader Joe's honey Greek yogurt. The Trader Joe's plain Greek yogurt to me tastes like sour cream straight up. I just need everyone who has access to a Trader Joe's to know that this, I think, is the best pasta sauce I've tried. We got this at the cabin, and then I repurchased it. It's spicy. It tastes like it's from a restaurant. It's so good. It's probably like the most flavorful one I've tried. Stock up on this. I'm afraid they're going to like <laughs> discontinue it. But I'm going to make some healthy-ish pasta, the bonza. Got the sun thrive. Add some cooked chicken. Then I'm also gonna saute some spinach in, and then I'll probably have this like leftover for lunch. I'll probably just make this whole thing. Very random side note. Wherever these cutting boards are from, I love it. I've seen it in a few Airbnbs. I want to get these whenever I move somewhere because they're like so thin. They're just easy to clean. I don't know. I'm picky with cutting boards. I like that these like the food doesn't stain on here. It's just really nice and thin. I don't know where the heck these are from, but comment down below if you do. I'll look online and see if I can find it, but pasta is simmering. I never measure the water. Chicken and spinach are going, and then I'm just going to mix in the sauce at the end. I don't know if you guys have seen that TikTok, but apparently we've been using strainers wrong. I have a tennis ball because I was working on my neck <laughs> earlier to like press it against a wall. But have you guys seen that TikTok where you know how normally you pour that bowl into here and then the pasta's in here? Apparently all you have to do is freaking put it this way and then flip it together. Do you own an Airbnb? I feel like I could do a whole like reel or something on this, like tips that I've noticed after staying in like 50 Airbnbs, but this is rare. Airbnbs almost never have things to wrap up your food, which if you have a full kitchen like this, it's so nice to give guests like even just one of these like foil or saran wrap so that you could like put it over a bowl because a lot of them just don't have it. And then you just have to like stick it in the fridge or buy a whole thing of it or whatever. 
So really appreciate this. Full length mirror is another one. These are two things. If you own an Airbnb, I would say at least try to have one of these. I think it's so nice to have. figured we could get ready together while I kind of recap Crater Lake or thinking about doing this trip and whatnot and also just give you random other updates. So this foundation is actually my fair skin shade. It I don't know if it looked normal on camera. I haven't seen the footage when I first put this on at like the beginning of this vlog, but it definitely looked too light once I like stepped outside and yeah, this is for sure like my fair skin shade. It's a little yellow, but I've been wearing it now that my tanner is kind of like worn off. It's not wearing great. It's not really like staying on my face too well. This I'm talking about the Shiseido again. I think I'm going to try doing a setting spray underneath and over top and see if that helps. Sometimes it can. So if you go to Crater Lake, there's like a few areas that you can stay outside the park. You can't stay in the park besides at the lodge. So I found this Airbnb in Chiloquin, which you guys saw, the cute little cabin on the river. It was, I feel like it was perfect because it was about 40-ish minutes to get into the park, like to get to the lodge basically. It was so pretty having like the windows on both sides, all sides and the river right there. So we got really lucky because we stayed in the cabin for three nights and the first two days the weather was horrible in Crater Lake, as you saw. It was quite literally pure fog. You could not see the blue at all. There was like one point where we were eating in the lodge because <laughs> there's nothing else to do. Of course, we didn't bring our book. It would have been nice to like hang out the, in the lodge by the fire, like read your book, but we did not do that. So we were just eating lunch in the lodge and there was one point where the clouds cleared like a millimeter and everyone booked it and ran outside and that is this photo. This is the amount of blue that you could see. I felt bad for anyone staying just that day. That would have been a big bummer to like drive all the way there and then you get that kind of weather, you know? But the next day we went into Klamath Falls, just like worked, we both had a lot of work. So we worked from a cafe and then did like a really pretty meadow walk around Chiloquin on this like nature preserve kind of thing. Just like took it easy that day, cooked dinner at home. And then the last day we completely scored. There was snow the day before. So the roads were like, it wasn't bad at all. It was not a single cloud in the sky, pure blue skies, sunny, and it was, unreal. Crater Lake has been on my bucket list for forever so seeing Crater Lake and then having like the best possible for me weather. I love snow so like seeing it with the snow with the sun out was just truly spectacular. It was insane and we really scored because Crater Lake can get freaking insane in like the busy months. We drove right in. There were like you know the lodge was full of people but it wasn't we didn't have to wait for a table to eat like sometimes I read online you have to wait two three hours in the summer to like eat at that restaurant. That's how many people there are. Parks close this year, I think on October 15th. I think it might depend on the weather. I'm not really sure. So we timed it so it was like the end of the season and it just was total perfection. Like could not have asked for a better last day there. It was insane. So this was the Southern entrance. There's different entrances that you can go up at. And then what we did is like go around half the lake basically to get back to bend instead of going back down which was also really pretty there's a lot of like viewpoints you can stop along the way there and that are a lot less busy than the main kind of area right where you drive up retrying the makeup by mario concealer because i do not know what i think about this it's in the shade 160. i'm gonna let it sit on though it's about two and a half hours two hours back to bend from depending on where you are in the lake oh my god the trees you guys <laughs> the trees are insane i love it so much all the fall colors bend is insane right now i am excited to go to seattle see everyone i used and have been using the long barrel curling iron that i showed in one of my last vlogs saying that i was gonna start trying it i've been trying it i think it might be my favorite curling iron it's deceptively like it looks like it's gonna be really tight but then it falls to like the perfect just like loose kind of wave and it holds and what i do is i curl it and then don't touch it like I either sleep on it hairspray it or just let it naturally fall a little bit don't like comb it out right after do it before you're doing your makeup and it just falls to the perfect amount and then friggin' stays and I don't have to touch my hair for like a few days. And I love that it has a long barrel because if you have long hair, you're not like wrapping around on itself. Every part of the hair can touch the barrel. I'll put the exact size that I have down below because 
they make like different sizes of it. I do now want to try this curling iron with my big rollers though, because that might be a good combo. If this holds on its own, adding in the rollers could be a game changer. We'll see. Still trying to figure out like the best way to incorporate rollers in and have my hair hold. It's been so nice because everything is so close here. So like I'll go to one, I went to a neck person and then I was able to go to another person right after and it was literally two minute <laughs> drive away. I'm used to looking at the map and like seeing, you know, two dots apart and thinking it's like 25 minutes apart, like in Seattle or a lot of other big cities and here it like looks that far apart, but it's a two minute drive. <laughs> And then I picked up the solar eclipse glasses and it was literally one block away from the second place I was at. I was like, this is, this is great. So let's talk about the solar eclipse because Bend is in the line for where one of the parts that it was supposed to hit. People drive up apparently from like all over the place. Even as we were driving back from Crater Lake, there's like, you know, campgrounds along the way and they were all packed in Christmas that they normally were not. So it was probably like people just coming up here just to see the solar eclipse. So I got the glasses. I went over to my friend's house. We, she, we, she made amazing eggs benedict. And then we just like hung out in the jacuzzi, watched the solar eclipse and it was great. But the solar eclipse, it might've just been because it was like a bit cloudy. I think that's probably why. I would have been uh, a little let down if I drove across the country to one of those places to like see it. Moral of the story, unless you're like really a solar eclipse fan, I would say probably don't drive too far to see it. I mean, I'm sure it's insane when like the sun is full out and because I've seen like reflections, you can see reflections of the little eclipse and that looks pretty cool, but it was cool that I just happened to be in this path. So I'm just gonna try and get a lot of work done today. I have a lot of editing. I might go do a coffee shop and edit. The only thing is editing with headphones in, it like delays, it kind of lags by like a millisecond. So I end up having to like go back and clip it out. So I just like editing usually without headphones in. So maybe I'll get a couple hours done here this morning and then go do other computer work at a coffee shop. Tomorrow I'm seeing my friend's parents, they just bought a house out here. Well, they're building a house and it looks like it's gonna be freaking insane. So I'm really excited to see that. And it's just nice like knowing more people here. I'm gonna continue to try the Trey Loose Blush in the shade Date Night. This is like a moussey kind of formula. And I feel like this one so far I've noticed really depends on the brush you're using. Sometimes it can look super smooth and airbrushed almost because it is like a soft matte finish. And then I've had it look like once or twice a little patchy just depending on the brush you're using. I think when I'm in Seattle, it's supposed to be 70 some of the days or high 60s, which is insane for end of October. But I mean, hey, I wouldn't be opposed to one more Lake Washington swim. Because I'm gonna be staring at a computer, I don't love putting on eye makeup if I'm just gonna be editing because I usually like rub my eyes and my eyes start burning. So I think I'm gonna skip eye makeup for now. I have this whole bag of lip products and I keep reaching for the same one lip liner over and over. Ooh, I have been really loving this. It's the Catrice Gloss and Glow Tinted Lip Oil. This is very nice. I'm gonna use it today with the Lawless Lip Liner in pink sand. I'm about to put that on my eyebrows, great. I just kind of like blur it out with my fingers. I need to find some body lotion. Oh, I have body lotion. It is dry here, not quite as dry as Denver. Denver, like my eyes were literally peeling, but I can like feel it on my hands and skin for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this folly cabin -y vlog. I'm excited to edit this one. I'm actually gonna start editing it today. Again, you can check out Thrive Market at the link down below. It's thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin, and that'll give you 30% off your first order and a free gift valued at up to $60. I need to drink 10 more of these. You can always follow along on Instagram if you wanna see things like a little bit ahead of YouTube timing, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.